So Brave New Alaskan Voices was recently given the opportunity to work with A&D VSA Star um, Alaska Team Media Institute and Aquila um, to be able to go into the schools and talk about healthy relationships. We received a lot of training and we were able to give that training to the students but at the same time um, our mission wasn't so much to tell them what healthy relationships were as much as we wanted to find out what they felt about healthy relationships. I'm waiting to see how many people that we have show up to get this thing started, and we're going to kind of do that based on time. I can't tell you that it'll be at least 50%. Dang. See the vibe, and I'm in a room, and I feel alive is the sign to let me know that I'm on the ride. There's not a problem with this. Like, I was this is, Juno, this is a speak your mind. Yeah, that wasn't really the place. That was a bunch of like, Yeah, but this is a speak your mind. This is the slam. Okay. This is big time. Easy. Time to go. Yeah. Turn it back. We are here because we never want to have the fear of not being heard or because we have been ignored and now refuse to miss our chance to speak. Pretty queasy. You feel like passing out, but I'll get through it. There's like a little podium right there behind you. Behind the we can only go two blocks on either side. We're missing eight. So, okay. So, how you feeling right now, bro? I feel like breaking something. I feel nervous. I feel like the hand of God is squeezing my intestines tight. No more jazz clapping for the rest of the evening. To see to see the uh, the platform of poetry be the place that um, that was used to discuss these relationships and the idea of what a healthy relationship is and isn't and could be and um, so I you know I was excited every school visit I think was a success and you have friends and your friends with their moms and their dads you would imagine um, that that level of relationship is kind of having a discussion amongst you guys here today and hopefully get some of it. Mi familia, mi corazón, we belonged until the morning breaks. And as you grow older, you know, that change can be really profound. All I ever did was show you how much I didn't appreciate you. My grandfather was gone. And for all the wrong reasons, I was mad. I was mad because it felt like he left and took a piece of my future. And without him, I would never again be complete. I was mad. Because it would never begin to be the crutch that I need to lean on when the weight of the world questioned my hopes. I was mad. Anymore. This is for all of the girls who have suffered from sexual assault. It was never your fault. And we need to stand together against rape forever because this has gone on far too long. So I'll spread on the war paint of a feminist and insist that I am a person. I am someone's sister, someone's daughter, someone's aunt, and someone's niece. And I was even when I woke up to you touching me but I'm letting go. And I won't give you the satisfaction of mourning any longer because I'm stronger. And I'm not meek or weak. I'm standing up to speak. First, I thought it was kind of bogus because I thought people knew that what relationship abuse was. But what I didn't realize was that people only tie the word relationship abuse with physical abuse. But what they don't realize is that it's tied in with so many other things. It's like, it's common sense, but common sense, what I learned, isn't common, se common sense until everybody knows it. Like, if, if you have a dysfunctional relationship, like with your mother, or let's just say with somebody that you're deeply in tune with, like your, your, your family, right? If you have a dysfunctional relationship with them, it's going to reflect... On, out, on the outside, so when you go out... We're helping them learn that we can relate and that we know what it is that we're going through through the poems that we're writing or just, you know, what they can talk to us about. Just um, today, with going to that high school in Wasilla, one of the guys came up to me and uh, told me that he was able to relate with me and that he knows exactly what it is that I felt like because he's gone through a very similar situation. People are just violent. Healthy relationships, they help make sure that people stay safe. They make it so I'm not going to hurt you just because I can. A healthy relationship would be me and you, we see each other, but we're not going to go at it. We're going to go get a bite to eat just because. As 
the generations move on, women are less respected, so are men, but most women, and women are supposed to be treated I right. Promote respect. I choose respect. And I promote respect. I choose respect. I choose respect. I, choose respect. I promote respect. I choose respect. about healthy and unhealthy relationships will really benefit in the long run. Some kids don't have uh, a way to know about unhealthy health relationships. They have no between what's right and what's wrong. To have that information out there will help in the long run. The more you feel comfortable, the more you feel comfortable, the more, the more you want to talk about things that you normally don't want to talk about. And it's good to let it out. It's just that you need to find somebody to let it out. Um, if you see signs of some unhealthy relationships, be a person to step in and be a green dot. Step in um, and try to stop that altercation or get help from somebody else. For those who have been in an unhealthy relationship, um, I would like to let you know you're not alone. Like there's people, friends, family who do care about you. And I know some of you like to keep it like in and don't like to like let a lot of people know. Or almost no one. But there's friends and family who do care about you. You should talk to somebody at least. Mom, brother, sister close friend, family friend, anybody, but you are loved, you know you don't feel like it.